nature of the world, the World Health Organization, the Philippines, and as individual persons, as exemplified in the Millennium Development Goals, is quality of life and health. Long before 2017, on May 2017, and even after 2017, different groups of health workers, local and national, have been working together advocating for the improvement of such quality of life and health. These groups fully believe that health and illness are affected by social, physical, political, economic, cultural, ecological, and technological. A few but concrete examples of such factors include war or conflicts, poor living conditions, greed or selfishness, damage to the environment, among many, many others. Who among us here will disagree that war and conflict will cause death and increases mortality? Who among us here will disagree that if you are poor, you are more vulnerable to acquiring the most common illnesses, especially communicable diseases? Who among us here will disagree that damage to the environment, life support mechanisms, such as water, air, and land pollution are the risk factors to the leading causes of illnesses and deaths in our country. And who among us here will disagree that a very low budget appropriated for health and further budget cuts will lead to low salaries of health workers and inadequate health services mandated by our constitution to be provided to the Filipino people. It is very unfortunate that the trend in our country is to tag or label anyone as communist or supporter of communists when you advocate for the protection of rights to life and health. And you can also be very easy prey for harassments, violation of rights, and disappearances. The president of the Cordillera Association of Nursing Deeds, Mrs. Uh, Judith Udani Maguila, has spoken of her own actual experience of red tagging and many other nursing leaders uh, and nurses she is one of the strong and steadfast nurse leaders who wants peace in our country, an end to the war between and among Filipinos. But for that to be attained, she wants that the root cause of such war be resolved through peace negotiation. Other nurse leaders demand for regular jobs for nurses. In 2018, there was an estimated 24,000 job order nurses. Between 2015 to 2017, four out of ten working nurses were classified as job order nurses. These job order nurses do not receive benefits being received by regularly employed nurses. Other demands included increase in health budget so that a decent salary will be afforded to the professionally trained nurses and that health services be equally adequate not only for the rich but more so for the poor and marginalized sectors of the Filipinos. The Philippine Statistics Authority claims that every Filipino spent 6,791 for, for health in 2017. That is about only something like 18 pesos and 60 centavos per day. If you want to maintain or promote your health, a bundle of organic vegetable for one meal a day will cost 30 to 45 pesos. A complete dose of amoxicillin for one day at right med price costed 22 pesos and 50 centavos. What will this do with a budget of only 18 pesos per day? An entry salary of a nurse between 13,000 to 23,000 is very far from 30,000, which is considered as the entry salary grade 15 that has been stipulated in the law many years ago. It is because of this, if this portion and many other portions of the health situation that nurses and nurse leaders get out of their way to advocate for the upholding of nurses and patients' rights that our government cannot sufficiently address. It is for these reasons that CAN, through Mrs. Maguilan and the Philippine Nurses Association, went out of their usual tasks on May 2017 to call for peace, increase in health budget, regular jobs for nurses, 
and many other goals. Change in the status quo or demands for improvements in the health of the Filipino people is not given or offered in a silver platter. We cannot just sit down and wait for that to happen. We have to strive for it with determination and in solidarity with all other groups of nurses, health workers, and all those in the healthcare profession. We strongly believe that what Mrs. Maguilang and all the other nurse leaders and health workers did and are doing are correct and no one can stop us from continuing the struggle for a long lasting and sustainable improvements in the health sector. We enjoin all nurses and health workers to unite, be strong in advocating for a just and la lasting peace, regular jobs for nurses, increase in health budget, and implementation of entry salary grade 15. Salamat po. Thank you.